Hello everybody, I'm Nanette Parat. I'm your voice and music teacher for the Endicott uh, Summer Program. I'm here to tell you a couple things about this blog page that you're looking at. If you look right below me, you will see there's a link to my Pinterest page where you will find a series of short films that are talking about how we can define music and also the value of music education in the classroom. So this is basically a point for all of us to start from. Then below that you will see I've given you um, a list of readings from the New York Times, one is from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, different articles again about how to use music in the classroom. Please read those before our first class meeting. Below that you'll see a list of the basic basic song list that you should know to integrate music into your classroom. A lot of you are music teachers, so you will be very familiar with this music, but what I ask for you is that you take the time to look at some of the imagery, the video clips that come along with the music that I've selected for you. That will be something different for you to add to your vision of how you see music. For those of you that are not so familiar with the pieces of music, here's a tip that I can give you that will help you. You can take those pieces of music and make a playlist. You can do a playlist on YouTube, or if you want to put them onto your iPod, go ahead and do that. And just have that music running. You can listen to it on the plane on your way over here. So you can become familiar with the fundamental, just basic skeleton list of pieces of music that are helpful for you to know. And this is by no means a definitive list of the songs you can use in your classroom. Again, this is just the foundation that I think we should all have in common before we start our class. The last thing is that in your syllabus, there is a list of vocabulary words. And these are very important because this is the language that we're going to be using in our class. And this is terminology that you really need to be familiar with. So please go through the list look up as many as you can, and then you'll see how in the class we can use them in context, in a conversation, in a teaching environment, and then you can directly apply that to your bilingual classroom teaching. For now, that's about it. I hope you enjoy the videos, the reading, the listening, and I look forward to meeting all of you, and I will see you in class. Have a very safe trip. Thank you very much.